Hi guys, welcome to the short video about my experience with the Google Drive update. It's actually now called Google Drive for Desktop. Yeah, here I have uh, an image uh, for that. Uh, desktop is replacing Backup and Sync. Yeah, they have announced this uh, quite some time ago. And I think I've heard the deadline is September, but I'm not sure about that. I think they will uh, give you a little bit more time. But the uh, question is then, uh, what's the advantage? What's the good? What's the bad? How difficult is it to update? And here I have some important information for you if you're interested into that. The uh, most important thing is uh, have I succeeded in to changing uh, from the normal uh, drive sync into the desktop uh, backup and sync? Yeah, it has been successful. I didn't lose any documents. Everything is working more or less now like normal, but it hasn't been an easy and smooth transfer as I have been expected that actually from, from Google. It was really, really difficult. There were some traps or uh, some difficult things. And what I would recommend is do it only when you have enough time. It can take easily half an hour or an hour. Don't do it just in a rush. And I just clicked on it and I wanted to do it. And after that, I figured, oh no, it looks like a little bit complicated and I, and I wanted to cancel. And then Google told me, no, if you cancel that now, you will never be able to uh, do this again. Somehow, something like that, which is really weird. And uh, But I was a little bit scared and so I did it. But it took me really about, I would say, uh, half an hour for the whole change. Uh, and then half an hour to get used to that. So I think uh, calculating about one hour wouldn't be so bad. So usually uh, Google will come up with a pop-up, you click on that and say, yeah, I want to uh, replace this thing. And then you have to sign in here. And then this is already where some problems start with the sign in process. I don't know if it was just with me, but it took me about five or 10 minutes to, to do the sign in with the two factor authentication. Uh, usually it works easily on my phone. In this case, it didn't work. So they had to send me an SMS. Uh, in this case for some reason. So you just click, go forward, check folders, and just make sure that, that you take your time, read everything. I'm not going to show you everything, every single page of it. Some are a little bit confusing, but in general, you don't have to be worried too much. That's the good thing. At the end, I will show you some images uh, to confirm that they will show you some confirmation page before you actually sign off and say, okay, that's it. This is what I want. These are the options which I want to go with. Now let's do it. Uh, you will get some really nice confirmation pages. Don't uh, don't be worried that when you click on something like that, that crazy things will happen immediately. No, it's not the case. Just as long as you're not sure, actually just go forward. Here's another page, review my settings, where you can see which files you are uh, currently uh, synchronizing. And here they are telling you what will happen if you just continue. And then they are giving you something that that's really weird page. I thought, okay, uh, they are saying, yeah, my choice is backup to Google Photos instead of syncing to Google Drive. And I want actually to keep my files in sync with Drive and there's no option. You cannot click. So just usually click on next here down below. And as long as it's not saying, yeah, okay, you, I confirmed that I want to keep to go with, with these options, nothing will uh, happen. Don't be worried about clicking on next here. Also here, usually they are just saying uh, what it is. I mean, you have the, the two options here, of course. Uh, it will uh, give you some warnings. Now that's the point actually uh, where you say save or go back. So you, here you have to confirm, it really says confirm your drive for desktop settings. So that's the thing here and you have to click on save and then this is uh, where it starts. Everything before is just a little bit to check and uh, see, uh, see some information, get additional uh, information, notification, those things. So this, this is here where it really starts. And then you get this thing here, setting up Google Drive for desktop. It will take some time, remove backup and sync. 
just click on OK and it will uh, do this in the background. It will take some time and then it says, yeah, you're ready to use Google Drive for desktop. And then you see the icons down below, which you have usually in the Swiss tray for Google Desktop. They will look a little bit uh, different than here we have still the old icon for some reason. I mean, the new icon looks a little bit different. I don't know why we had this here. But of course, at the beginning, it will do the things which they have told you, which they will do. So let it work for maybe like another 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so. And just click on it. Don't do it. Don't stop it. Just leave it running. Here I have it, uh, what it has been doing. It had huge problems just with some small images. And I, I didn't do anything. I just let it run run for 10-15 minutes and at the end it was finished and uh, of course you can click on the error list here uh, file is too small yeah Google has some problems so, or at least Google Photos has some problem with that you can also go to uh, notification yeah these were the notifications here uh, now after some time it says synced and by the way the options uh, yeah you have the options for the laptop and the options for the google drive and here we have some new things that's really interesting google drive it says actually or it gives you the choice to use this as streaming files that means you're saving space on your hard drive but you don't have all the files ready uh, when you're offline in case you're traveling or there's an internet outage or whatever it uh, could be uh, in this case if you're using stream files uh, everything is only online i mean it will look like you have everything local but when you click on a file it has to access everything from online here with the mirror files if you choose this it will sync everything down uh, to your PC that's uh, important that's a standard thing which has been before I think the, the streaming file option uh, it has never been here before and here we have the my laptop things where you can add some additional folders to be backed up to Google Photos and Google Drive you can see this uh, is exactly the same as we had before we did the setup and now even after the change we can still changing this I think in the announcement Google wrote that we won't be able to add additional folders to be backed up to Google Photos and Google Drive after the update but it looks it's still here we can click on that here if you don't need to sync it I mean in my case it's syncing to Google Photos and uh, Google Drive of course that's not needed it's duplicate space so I clicked on that and I removed it so uh, I just have the files shared now and I have this additional folder backed up to Google Photos so you can see that here when you click on this thing here you can click on it and then you can check or uncheck these options here yeah, I think we, we don't have a choice anyway uh, I would recommend to do it pretty soon otherwise you uh, maybe could be in trouble because they will force you at some point and if you need to access then the files maybe then uh, it will be difficult I don't know I mean I mean I'm not expecting you to lose the data of course uh, Google is not going to do that any anytime soon but uh, I, I would recommend to if you have one hour uh, left then just do it uh, what's also something which could be interesting to know uh, I have different pieces. I have synced my Google Drive data to different PCs and on some of them I haven't updated now and I've checked also it's still working there everything is still good I can still access all the files there and sync it with my new Google uh, desktop drive sync here so you can still work with different versions you don't have to do the update on all the PCs at the same time. You can do it uh, one after each other. You can do it uh, one today, the next one tomorrow, if you have also uh, different PCs to update. So that's it, actually it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.